Hey, Kitchen Gunsmiths, it's Rider's Block here. I purchased this slide on eBay. This Gen 5 slide that looked like it had been beaten to shit. It had been dragged. I'll put in pictures maybe of how the condition of how it looked when I received it. It was scratched up, dented. So I decided to take all the, the factory coating off, the diamond light coating DLC, is I think that's what it's called, it used to be Tenifer on Gen 3s, and so I removed all the finish, buffed it out, and tried to get a mirror, pil mirror polish on it, but it was just a fingerprint magnet, I mean, every time you, you touched it, something, you would see every little detail of it, and you can still kind of see the the scratches and you know the imperfections of the mirror polish that I tried to do at home and I thought about Cerakoting it and I may still do that in the end but I had this perma blue stuff um, and I thought you know this is the way they did it when back in the day before Cerakote and I kind of wanted to imitate this this bluing here similar to this this Colt Python just got a nice shiny blue, not matte, you know, not a so it's not a heavy duty coating like we're used to today. But I didn't want it to rust while it was bare metal, so I figured I'd give this bluing a go. So this is my first time at it. Hopefully, it turns out okay. I had already degreased it using this and rinsed it out buffed it out a little bit so I will see how this turns out you guys will bear witness put some of this bluing agent into that so I don't recontaminate by dipping into the bottle the instructions said to saturate this cotton swab and Kind of just paint it on, you know, say one more look before it gets blued. I don't know if you can see that well, I'm not really, I don't have a viewfinder to see what I'm pointing at, but it does have a somewhat mirror polish on it and I'm going to blue it. It says to paint it on, leave it for a minute and rinse it off in cold water. So do a bunch of light coats because you can always do more later. So here goes nothing. Let's start off at this end. Ooh, that kind of turns black instantly, doesn't it? Well, I'll show you here in a minute what I'm doing. So I don't know how well that's coming out on, on this video, but yep, that's no turning back now. This is happening. So, I guess it's like a pre-rusting, controlled rust to pre prevent it from rusting more. Uh-oh, I might have had some grease on it still. It's not turning black as easy as this side did, but we'll see. Maybe it just has to be left on there for a minute. Ooh. Let's see if I can fix that. That side's not looking too well. Might have been some grease that I left on from when I was buffing it out. But to leave it on there for a minute, rinse it and buff it. And then I can always do more later. We'll see how this turns out. Yeah, because it looks like there's still kind of some wax on it. So I don't know if you can see it, but it's like beating away like it's it's waxed. So maybe I should have degreased it a little more than I did. But I thought it was enough. I had it running through the ultrasonic cleaner. I mean, right now you can kind of see that the shine is gone. So we'll give it a minute. I should have brought a timer or worn my watch. But 
But if all else fails, then I may have to take the Dremel out and grind off this this top layer. Oh yeah, there's totally still some grease and wax on it because that's just beating away and pfft, like it's some rain -X on it. So I'll give it a minute. Don't want you guys to be waiting around while I sit for a minute. So just leave it there for a minute and I'll cut right back to it. All right, kitchen gunsmiths. This went off camera to give it a good rinse. And this is the result so far. It looks pretty bad right there. Might have still had some leftover wax or grease or never dull. Uh, whatever I was using to shine it up. But, you know, this part is starting to look pretty good. It's got this gunmetal blue going, and which is kind of what I'm after here. But you can definitely see the splotches there. I don't know if that's coming out on camera or not, but give it another coat and see how it goes. Off camera, I rinsed it off and tried to degrease it a little bit more. Is this stainless steel that they use here? I mean, it's working here. A little bit, it's looking good. Let's just keep at it and see how it transforms. May end up seracoding this thing after all. It'd be really cool if it worked out though, because I really like the the gunmetal look. I mean if I seracoded that would be the color I chose. Instead of boring old black. Plus, you know, the black's kind of scary. So, let's just leave that on there for a little while longer. So, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but that stuff is just... Is it because it's too much of a polish? If you know what I'm doing wrong here, feel free to leave a comment below. Need more of this. But I don't want to get it too dark. I don't know if you can see that, how the water is just wicking away. I'm not the water, but I. Uh, uh, it's like it's got some rain -X on the slide. Just beating away. Put some, use their degreaser that came with the kit. Put some alcohol, washed it up. We'll see. So they say it takes uh, several coats. I mean, this is starting to get a little dark, but still not getting the results I originally wanted. Like it's all splotchy right there. I've seen some other videos and they said that, you know, you take a little bit of the steel wool and it'll kind of even out. But, put a little bit more on this end here. Wait that minute. And, give it a good rinse. So we'll see how that goes. Alright, I'm not going to let you guys... Wait that full minute with me while I wash it up. I'll be right back in, in a second. All right, kitchen gunsmiths, I'm back. That was a couple minutes for me, but only a second for you. So I had rinsed it off. And let's, let's dry it off once rinsed and let's see the results. So, I don't know if you guys can see that, if it's coming out on the video or not. It, 
it's taking shape. So it might have been the coating that they used in got seeped in through the metal. I don't know why it's not coating as evenly as I thought it would be. But let's try evening evening it out with some some steel wool and let's see if that does anything. So it does kind of even out a little bit. Got a little bit of the splotching and it's So, I don't know if you can see if that has improved anything or not. A little bit. It looks kind of cool in certain angles, but definitely still some spots there. So, we'll see. I'm going to blow off some of this. for now and let's try another coat so let's see here on top If this doesn't work out, maybe I need to do with the the old traditional bluing and just heat it up and dunk it in a batch of oil. So I'm going to let that sit for another minute and give it a good rinse. Right back. All right, kitchen gunsmiths. So I skipped, initially I skipped this step here, the blue and rust remover. I didn't think it had any blue, didn't have any rust, so I didn't use it. But I figured it did have some degrease. Well, it had some grease that I thought I degreased. And I don't even know if that's the problem here. Like, I don't know if you can tell. That's coming up. But, it's starting to get a shade darker and... You know, if I run the steel wool through it, it's not as spotchy. Let's give that a go one more time. Dry it up. And I may try to see if this, this blue and rust remover will take off the blue and I can start over again. Or I mean, cause I am kind of liking it in certain lights, man. Let me tell you, it's got that that gunmetal that it's supposed to be. I know Glocks are typically called, you know, the plastic fantastic and whatnot, but the bit that's metal, it's got that looking good. It 
wouldn't be bad if it wasn't so spotty. I mean, the stuff that I'm that I've got going here. Let me see if I can go off to the side here. So I'm just kind of scratching it up, and you know, the top looks the top looks pretty good. But the steel wool is kind of keeping it dusty, but can you see those spot, just spots that just aren't taking to the blue? It still has a very high gloss, and there's some scratches on it, so I don't know if it's paint where, you know, if the stuff needs something to bite onto. I thought it was just more of a chemical reaction to bare metal, which I thought this is, I mean... I mean, it, it is bluing in some spots. Let's give it some air and... Dust off some of that. Give it another coat. to tell you guys these are the products that I'm playing with here so let me see if I can get behind the viewfinder and and show you what's happening See, there is some blue that's happening, but it's just that side. Like, this side looks... It's hard to tell because of the, the light and the color, but... It's definitely not as mirrored as it was previously, before I started. Let's just keep going at it. Let that sit for another minute. I'll see if I can review the instructions here. It says repeat steps four, five, six and seven to obtain darker blues so oh no perma blue liquid gun blue will not blue stainless steel aluminum or non ferrous metals huh is that what glock slides are made out of stainless steel or aluminum or non ferrous metal. I don't know. But again, let's see. Where is that? Uh, it, it is bluing a little bit. It's starting to be a long video. So I will pause it and. Be right back after I give it a good rinse. 
All right, I am back. It is nice and dry. And these are the results. Not exactly what I was expecting. Out of this cold blue. I mean, it looks nothing like the color of the python. Maybe a little bit in some spots, like in the corners here. But why it's not taking all the way through, I have no idea. So, if you know what I'm doing wrong, I may end up scrapping this project using the blue and rust remover, cleaner and degreaser, and perma blue again, or I'll just go straight to Cerakote. If you guys know what I'm doing wrong here, leave a comment below, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.